Hello and welcome back to another week of Honest Life. This week the weather's forced me indoors as you can quite easily see. Now this was bound to happen eventually, so it might as well have happened this week. As for my project, I haven't actually done anything on it this week because I've reached a point where I need to wait around and see what I should actually do next. This has been pretty good because exams are fast approaching. My first one is actually next week, so it will give me a nice um, period of time for me to start focusing on exams. As for other stuff I've been doing this week, on Friday night I went to a lecture by Philip Ball on invisibility. Now this wasn't on the physics of invisibility, but rather how being invisible would affect our morals. So the idea is that if you're invisible, um, your actions will have no consequence because no one will know you did it. Now the thought is that if you have no consequence for your actions, you'll, your morals will change and you'll start doing things you would have never done beforehand. A good example of this is the anonymous internet comment sections, where people can post anything they want without any consequence, and often they do post whatever they want. So it was cool to think about how invisibility would actually affect your own morals. Now for some real science. Last week I talked about how scientists at CERN detected a rare decay of a B meson using the Large Hadron Collider. Well this week, those very same scientists increased CERN's power to 13 tera electron volts. So that's a 13 with 12 zeros behind it. This is the highest energy we've ever achieved in particle physics. So it's an exciting time to see if we find anything new in this new and powerful Large Hadron Collider. Now turn our eyes back up to space, the Marvin satellite, which has been orbiting Mars, has detected ultraviolet aurora primarily around the northern hemisphere of Mars. Now aurora occur when charged particles from the sun's solar winds interact with the atmosphere. On Earth we have a big magnetic field which guides the charged particles to the north and south pole. So that's why we see the northern and southern lights. But nowadays Mars doesn't have a big magnetic field. All that's left of its magnetic field are kind of umbrella shapes mostly around the southern hemisphere of Mars. Now the interesting thing is, the aurora on Mars doesn't seem to be around these magnetic umbrellas, which is not really what scientists were expecting, so it'll be interesting to see what physical process is actually behind these um, ultraviolet aurora on Mars, and why the magnetic fields aren't playing um, as large a part as they do on Earth. So that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the indoors video and tune in next week for some more Honours Life. Now last week I showed you my tripod. I haven't exactly used the same tripod this week, so I might as well show you this new one. So, here it is. A precarious tower of chairs and telescope tripods.